purpose of this video is to give a brief introduction to electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are opposite of mechanical waves. And these travel in a vacuum. They do not require a medium in which to travel, <clears throat> which is a good thing because this is what we receive from the sun. So in order to get from the sun to the earth, these waves have to travel through space, obviously. So the electromagnetic waves allow us to get what we receive. You can tell here it's made up of two parts. You have an electric field and you have a magnetic field as the wave propagates in this direction. The main thing I want you to notice here is we'll talk about more of this later, but the main thing I want you to notice is that the magnetic field is, in a, is at a right angle to the electric field. And as I mentioned, we'll talk more about that at another time. Speed of light. Well, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. I'll make that a little bit bigger. 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we did that in the last unit. That's 300,000 kilometers per second. And of course, that equals 186,000 miles per second. We use the same formula that we used in waves because this is a wave formula, but we use a C for the speed of light because this is a constant. This is a constant. The speed of light in a vacuum is a universal constant. It's also the speed limit for the universe. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light. Third thing is, light is so fast it can make seven and a half trips around the earth in one second. And then if we time it, light takes eight minutes to travel from the sun to the earth. Now that distance is 93 million miles. So at the speed of 186,000 miles per second, it takes eight minutes for that light to get here. So if you go outside and look at the sun, or look at the light that's coming from the sun, don't look straight at the sun, then that light that hit you took place eight minutes ago. If you look at the closest star that we have at, in the night sky, that is, takes light four years to travel from that star. So if you go out tonight and look at Alpha Centauri, that light that you're seeing took place four years ago. That gets us to some type of measuring that we do the dis a light year is the distance light travels in one year with the speed that it has. If we take the number of seconds that are in a year, multiply that times the number of miles per second, we get this number. Uh, that is 5.87 times 10 to the 12th miles, which of course is 5.87 trillion miles. And that, that gives us a little bit of a measuring. Space is so vast, we can't, using a meter, if you, if you look at the speed of light and it's 3 times 10 to the 8th, that's 300 million meters per second. That's very difficult to measure with. So we use light years to measure the scope of space. Uh, once again, our wave equation, let you have that again in case you need to write it down. And then the last thing is the electromagnetic spectrum. So I want to spend just the, the rest of my time on this video here. This is the electromagnetic spectrum. And these are the waves that come to us from the sun. And you can see them here, and I'm going to talk a little bit about them. But you have radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, uh, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, and gamma rays. And all of these are coming to us from the sun. Good news is, is our atmosphere blocks most of these from coming through so that we don't have to deal with them. Because uh, we couldn't. If, if, if these kept coming through our atmosphere, we wouldn't be here. Uh, but what we've been able to do is reproduce these because these are based on frequencies and we'll see in class the different frequencies that make these up. But this, as far as frequency, our frequency increases as we go from left to right on this graph. So this is going to be my low frequency waves and these are going to be my high frequency waves. That also means, and we'll put it down here, this is also energy. Okay, I can write. Let's try that again. There we go. This we have low energy waves here, 
and these are our high energy waves here. Uh, I, I don't think it's a secret that gamma rays have higher energy than maybe a radio wave. Now this one, microwave, we'll talk about that in class, but uh, do a little bit of studying on that and see, see what you can come up with. Is this the microwave that we put in a box and have it in our homes and, and heat up food with? Let me know what you think of that. But the wavelength is the other part of this. Now remember, with our formula, speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. This is constant, so that means these two have to change. And the frequency will increase as you go from left to right on here. The wavelength increases as you go from right to left. So down here, we have a long wavelength. Down here we have a short wavelength. And so we identify these waves by their frequency. And of course you can also substitute and say wavelength for that. You'll see that on many of the graphs that, that if you look if you do some studying and look through that, you can find that. If these are all done by frequency, then how do we use those and what does that mean? And that's what we're going to be talking about and looking at. Let me pause here. And let's look at the visible light spectrum, because this is obviously what we see. And with the visible light spectrum, this is where we get our color. Infrared, so that means below red, so that means the lowest frequency of visible light is red. And then we go to orange, and then yellow, and then green right in the middle, and then the blues and the violets make up. Ultraviolet is above or higher than violet, so violet is the highest frequency of our visible light spectrum. All these together make up the colors that we see, and once again when we talk about color coming up pretty soon, we will be talking about that. This is just a brief, short introduction to electromagnetic spectrum, but it's a lot of information that I just need you to know and have available in class. We'll see you then.